Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this beautiful painting of orange skies, I call it. Uh, so sketch it out and we'll begin with a very warm wash of Aurelian yellow and rose. You can use Aurelian yellow and cad red if you like. You want to get this very deep warm orange going to dry much lighter so don't be afraid of the pigment put that pigment on there you know bring it right down so we have this it comes down from the sky into the ocean here so the ocean is a little bit darker so we want to put a little more it gets a little more really in yellow towards the bottom so you might want to get it get a little bit lighter and a little bit more of the really in yellow all right I'm adding a little more color here. It's very deep, so give it a little spray, keep it moving. All right, I'm going in with a damp brush. There's some, as you can see, there's some reflections there, so I'm just lifting those out. I'm going to develop the shape with the damp brush, and then I'll go in with a towel and wipe it out. But it's not white, but it's it's uh, it's very light, and it's just the water is moving down here, so it's leaving a reflection, which is nice because we got those dark rocks coming in there. All right, let's take a towel and wipe it off very lightly. While I have that, I'm going up and um, I'm lifting out some clouds. It's a couple of clouds up in there. All right, now we're going into these very dark. This is ultramarine. I put a little quinciana so it got black, and then I charged it with rose, with quinacridone rose. So we're just painting the shapes of those houses and land in the background. Very dark. This is very backlit. A lot of rose in there. It's a tinted rose, so don't be afraid of the color. Very, very dark, okay? Almost, you know, very little water there, so keep this, keep this nice and dark. All right, so there's the houses sitting on the land. Now, as the spray, keep it sprayed, you know, and as that... As the land comes in here, the land is coming down like a beach towards the water. So you want to spray it and get it a, a lighter value because there's more light hitting it. The houses are backlit, so they're very dark, but the sand is not backlit. The sand is getting light, so you can see it's uh, it gets very light. Uh, I'm, what I'm doing is you know, painting my strokes in the direction of the land here. Okay, so there's a there's an incline in the land, and I'm bringing that pigment down. All right, I'm getting a, a very dark. There's a very dark edge here at the water, at the water line. So go in with a, a deeper dark pigment, and the water line, you know, it's it's it comes down to the water, and then there's all it's very rough. There's a lot of rocks down in there, so. We're gonna go down, we're gonna uh, work that up. All right, up here there's more texture. We left that light and now we're going back in with some, you know, there's all sorts of stuff growing and rocks and texture back there. So put that in, I'm gonna work that some more. I'm giving it a chance to set up up there. Meanwhile, I'm down here at the edge of the, of the rocks and I'm just, you know, bringing some of that dark into the water where there's the stones and rocks are creating a rough edge there. And you can see that, that stuff going down. Okay, that edge is really important. It's a rough edge. And it's darker than the rest because it's, it's also, it's wet or it has been wet recently, so it's, it's much darker. All right. So get that coming down. Meanwhile, I'm letting that upper land uh, set up. It's drying, but it's not. 
All right, I'm putting some um, some of the reflections in. There's a lot of reflections here in the water, uh, and I'm, I'm using an orange. I'm just using a deep orange here. And this is all just horizontal strokes, leaving some light, you know, painting around some of the lights. And it gets lighter as it comes down towards the middle of the water here. It gets, there's more aurelian yellow because it's reflecting that sky that's up there. Okay. So I'm adding more water with aurelian yellow in it. And I'm bringing it down to my shapes there with the, where I left those lights. Keep a nice spray on it. Keep the whole thing alive so you can work on it. Once it's dry, you're dead in the water, you can, it's just very hard to work with it. But if you keep it moist and dry, you can keep working it. All right, just lifting out those lights on the water there. All right, now I'm going back. That, that land up there is, is fairly dry. It's not totally dry, but what I'm doing is just taking some cobalt blue mixed in with that deep violet and creating some texture on that land. And this is just growth, you know, it's, it's vegetation and it's rocks and it's pieces of junk on the beach and, you know, whatever. It's just all, you know, making a nice um, texture up there. Right, just working that edge of the water, these rocks coming down, going back up to the, the texture up there. You know, just pieces of grass and, you know, sections of grass coming down. Spray. Keep the spray bottle handy on this painting because there's a lot of, you want to keep that stuff alive. All right, let's get those dark rocks in there. And this is the same color, just the ultramarine, quinciana, and I'm charging it up with the rose again. I sped this up because there's so many rocks. It, it's a... Uh, it's going to take you a while to put them in, but be patient, you know, have patience and, and get her done, you know, just, just go in one rock at a time, create, you know, put the rocks together so they create nice shapes, you know, have one or two rocks out there by themselves, but most of this is just these deep, dark, and it's nice because they're just silhouettes, you don't have to worry about all the facets on rocks usually, this is just... It's all, you know, sort of backlit, and it's just you're looking at basically silhouettes of rocks. All right, so I just sped that up for you so we can buzz through it. Okay. All right, now we, we're in the section where there's, it's almost all rocks, and I added a lot of cobalt blue here first, so I'm, I'm developing that shape. I'm just basically making a violet shape with... with uh, cobalt blue and uh, some rose and now once I painted that I'm going back in with the darks and these darks are, again this is the ultramarine with rose on top of that uh, other violet I wanted to leave that you know the cobalt blue violet is a lighter violet and it's going to give us a different feel for those rocks down in there this whole section you know have patience with this and work your way through it you know, take your time. I'm going back and putting a few, uh, basically orange rocks up there. You know, they're different. They're, they're up in the water and the light. And so not a lot of them, just a few. Just touching some of these uh, darker rocks with the, vi with the orange as well. They're very warm. So not a lot of them, but just, just a few here and there. couple of them sticking out of the water. All right, I'm going to go back now and finish the reflections. The, the water is basically dry, so I'm going in with a deeper, this is a deeper orange uh, with a little touch of violet. The, these are really reflections of the land down into the water, so that's what we're doing here. So it has a little violet in it, okay, just a lot of horizontal strokes, you know, just going back and forth and creating that 
sense of reflection, the, the motion of the water, picking up the reflections of that land, that deep violet on the land. Okay, so that just comes down. Take your time with it. It's a good painting to learn patience with. Yeah, there's a lot going on. All right, as you can see, it's just, you know, we're just reflecting the land. And what we're doing is we're joining our values, you know, we're giving a transition of values from the light, light water to the dark, dark land with this sort of medium value. All right, leaving lights here and there. So these reflections get lighter as they come out towards the middle of the water because they're, they're now picking up, you know, the dark reflections are, the re are reflections of the land, but now we're talking, these are reflections of the sky. So they're much lighter. They're very warm, orange. These, these are reflections of the land again. I go back and forth, you know, as it, uh, as you, work your brush but you know some of it's darker than others and keep the edges all soft edges painting it to that moist but you want to leave some light so it's a lot of nice reflections just horizontal strokes Keep it going and you'll see you'll see the development of the reflections, that nice the waves, the motion of the water. Alright, I'm back uh, adding more uh, aurelian yellow to this. So it's very rich and warm. Very wet now towards the middle. Alright, uh, I'm putting a little uh, halo of Quinn Rose on the buildings and on the trees. You can see it adds a nice sort of touch of warmth on that. This is just pure Quinn Rose. You can do the orange if you like all along here. All right, I'm just going to put some finishing touches on here. We have a few trees. They're very light. They're growing against the sky. So, you know, they're very warm. I'm using a little violet here and then I'll go into the orange. All right, just a very pointed brush. Get those really narrow branches in there all along that. All right. Another, take your time again, patience. And there's a few more trees here and there. Okay. All right. This was a this was a fun painting to do. Nice and warm. A lot of beautiful reflections. Nice silhouettes. Nice darks. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much uh, for joining me. I appreciate it. Hope you learned a few things, and I will see you soon. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it very much. Thanks again and happy painting.